Hey boy, you almost got tased at the Justin Bieber concert. <laughs> I can explain. Saying your natural reactions to this is yeah, actually no, no, probably no, 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 going to be so, so funny. It's Ellie Nelson. Welcome back to my channel. I have not posted in a while. I know I see this every video because I literally slack so much. Um, if you're watching this, I am in Texas currently. Um, I hope this video goes up because I don't have service there. That's why I'm trying to film it earlier and get it edited earlier and post it soon. But today I thought I would do something that I haven't really seen before, but that is still so cringy. You guys are going to die. So a couple years ago, I used to be a huge Justin Bieber fan like when I say fan I mean like stand like March 1st 1994 12 56 a.m. on a Tuesday Never say never that's me Ali Nelson like I loved him like and then once I started getting older in high school Like it kind of faded away, and I was like well, I don't care so a couple days ago One of my friends old tweets was retweeted onto my timeline and I figured this I should just look for my tweets so I went through my old tweets and found all the tweets that I have tweeted to Justin Bieber ever. I hate myself. <laughs> By the way, this is my friend Hunter. If you guys don't follow him, he is H2Bala on Musical.ly, YouTube, Instagram. Actually, it's Hunter Hill on Instagram. Yeah. So go give him a follow. Um, he's one of my really good friends. He lives in LA. We hang out and I absolutely adore him. So the first tweet I found is from December 6th of 2012 and it says, I'm writing the Ellen Show a letter because I'm a human being with feelings and I'm in love with Justin Bieber. Ellen is amazing though. Don't get me wrong. I wrote so many letters to Ellen, like on her website. You can like, it's like write a letter to Ellen all the time. The next one is also, it's from 2013. It says, add Justin Bieber, I'm breaking up with you. Haha, -ha. hashtag April Fools. Oh my gosh. This one, honestly, this one is a relatable one. This one can be used now for everyone who said Justin Bieber was the F word and gay and stupid and now you're rocking purpose store merch this is a in the past subtweet to you now hmm? it's from 2013 it says it makes me so mad when people claim they love they're in love with justin bieber when they used to call him gay and make fun of him hashtag you can't do that this one is from 2013 it said remember when i almost got tased at a justin bieber concert lol 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 wait boy you almost got tased at a justin bieber concert <laughs> i can so basically, I was. This was a long time ago, like a My World concert, whenever that was. And I just remember I was outside talking to one of Justin's friends, um, and he was like talking to me, and I was like, you know what? Like I'm gonna hop the fence. I had to be like in eighth grade or something. I was like, I'm gonna hop the fence. And then the security guy kept yelling at me, and um, he was like, like you can't try to climb the fence. Like you can't do this. You can't do that. And I was like, well you can't tell me what to do. I know it's super disrespectful because he's a security guard, you're supposed to listen to them, they keep you safe. But I was younger and like a psycho fan and all I wanted to do was hop the fence and see Justin Bieber because I knew other girls who were doing it. But basically, um, it got to the point where all the fans started like shaking the fence. Like we were we were being ridiculous, like crazy zoo animals. And we started shaking the fence and it was like coming out of the ground kind of. And like he just was walking around like clicking his taser in the air and I was like, tase me, you won't. And my friend was like, stop saying that. And I was just trying to be like a hardo and I was like, five years old not really five but you know and that's the story about how i almost, almost got tased at a justin bieber concert this is from 2012 it says when justin bieber comes on the radio the world just feels like a safe place i don't think i was wrong for that i'm such a loser dweeb dork like listening to old justin bieber makes me so sad <laughs> dweeb it's your i'm sorry i'm sorry i was like this i think i was trying to be comical i think that's what the issue was here throw cocaine and money at me at justin bieber Yes, Justin Bieber, please treat me like a trash horse stripper. I, that's what I need. 2014 is wanting Justin Bieber to throw cocaine and money at me a mood. You know, mood AF today, guys. Yeah. This this was actually honestly, I would say to this day, I agree with this tweet. This was in 2015 when like my fan base started dying down, and I just thought he was like hot as hell. I said I refuse to die before Justin Bieber sprays a seven thousand dollar bottle of champagne on me, homie. If you want to, I'll put a link down below. Justin, you go to my church. If you want to spray a $7,000 bottle of champagne on me, I'm okay with that. I can't say that about church. It's okay, no, I'm at, it doesn't have to be after church. It can be on a Thursday, a Friday. But like, we go to church together. So like, no. you asked me if anyone was sitting next to me and I said, no. <laughs> we see each other every week. We're like, we're like a couple. <laughs> But in all reality, guys, at church, I have never, like, bothered Justin. Like, I know that's a safe place for people. There's a lot of celebrities who actually go to my church, and I make sure, we all make sure that we don't feel the need to bother them. Yeah, we A do. lot of them, 
Exactly. A lot of them I don't even really care about, but like obviously seeing Justin Bieber is like wow. But I make sure I never go out of my way to speak to him because it's his sit safe zone. I don't want to ever interrupt that. I just think that's like rude. And I tweeted, somebody just make me feel like a dumbass. Like I'm so stupid. I tweeted, I don't care if it's Easter, but like unless it's Christmas or the house is on fire or Justin Bieber showed up to seduce me, do not wake me up before 11 o'clock. <laughs> that was definitely a sub tweet before my mom, <laughs> to my mom. This was in 2015. I literally want Justin Bieber to lock me in a closet, tell me I'm scum and never speak to me again because that's how I truly feel. Girl, what were you going through? 2015 Allie Nelson, what were you going through? Who hurt you? Remember when I recited the words to Justin Bieber as if they were holy words? Here I am. There's definitely someone telling me to get off the table, but. This tweet, guys, I feel like this should have been a viral tweet because this tweet is so viral worthy. I tweeted in 2016, the only time we come together is when Justin Bieber changes his hair. It is! Like when Justin yeah. Bieber shaved his head, the entire internet was one. He really does like trade like trends. Like we all came together and we were like, Justin Bieber's hair. Next one. I need Justin Bieber to show up to my house right now and whisper the lyrics of baby into my ear before I throw myself down the stairs. We're not gonna say what that day was. <sighs> this is me literally pushing old me away. I can't even believe those tweets were real. But again, a lot of us have our old fan girl moments, whether it's One Direction, Jonas Brothers. You can't even sit here and say you weren't a Jonas Brothers fan because they were life. Anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching these tweets were so cringy and if you guys want to see old cringy pictures from Facebook or anything let me know down below um I definitely was a very cringy teenager child tween knee bopper so if you guys want to see more of that let me know in the comments down below let me know what your favorite cringy tweet of mine was through this video comment that down below again guys turn my post notifications on for Instagram and YouTube um I like to stop people who are super active with me and you know you never know maybe you can have a shout out on my snapchat or the next youtube video but yeah guys thank you so much for watching i love you so much please don't hate me for all of these make sure you go follow hunter on all of his social media we both have musically so follow us on musically we go live on lively and we go live on instagram a lot so again if you don't have our notifications on you're doing it wrong um thank you for watching this please don't hate me please don't think my cringy tweets are who i am now because uh, i am I've changed. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. If you guys are watching this before Thanksgiving, I hope you have a very, very great Thanksgiving. I'm so, so, so thankful for all of you. Uh, Thanksgiving is actually my birthday, so I will be another year older and uh, another year super and and um, uh, uh, uh. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love we you. We almost have the same birthday. We do. We're yeah, it's close. only like two days off. And there's almost 43 days till Christmas. We gonna get lit. Bye! You're alive! <laughs> <laughs>